I used to be a dessert addict. I grew up really close to my grandmother Mills, who was an incredible baker. Right? I could ride my four wheeler over there in like less than a minute, probably. She baked dozens of cookies every week of her life. She baked multiple pies every every week of her life, right? I could go over there and eat them all, all I wanted, right? All the time. And I and I liked I liked Pepsi floats. Not Coke, right? Pepsi. And I would fill up, I'd get these big cups that were really big. And I could put a whole can of Pepsi in there and I could fill the rest of the way with ice cream. Boy, I could eat that. Man, I could eat that. And let me tell you something. I would do that every day of my life. After I went to chiropractic school and I learned all kinds of things about health, I still did it every day of my life. Did I do it every day of my life? I did every day. I mean, maybe I missed a day once in a while, an accident. You know, <laughs> somewhere over there. And I couldn't stop it. Even when I'd have those moments, and be like, go on, I'm not going to do it. And I was never overweight, because I've always, I just enjoyed exercising. So I just exercised my butt off, so I, you know, I wouldn't gain a bunch of weight. It wouldn't matter. So it wasn't a weight issue to me. And I just couldn't get myself to quit it. It was just, I know they're empty calories, but what's the big deal? You know, I mean, so what? You know, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I started reading some new books about health and wellness because that's what I'm into. That's what I read about. And I started studying these things. I started all, all this research about sugar and cancer, sugar and cancer, sugar and cancer, sugar and diabetes, sugar and heart disease, sugar weakening your immune system, sugar doing all these things, sugar increasing your your insulin levels chronically, and your insulin causes cell division, rapid cell division. So insulin is a mitogenic hormone. It causes your cells to, to divide rapidly. And I was thinking, boy, that's not good. So I'm eating all this sugar, and that's making my insulin higher, and that's causing these cells to divide rapidly, right? But in the meantime, that sugar is also weakening my immune system, so it couldn't recognize if something maybe went wrong in that replication cycle. And the more I read it, I thought, geez, this isn't good. And I started reading and studying and reading and studying. I, I would do work and I, I, I was going through this course where I literally had to do homework and I had to send it in. And here's the moral of the story, the point of the story. I, I haven't eaten one of those in years. Years. And I have no desire to. None. I don't wake up every day and say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it today. I, you know why? Because I changed my belief. And when my belief changed from empty calories to promoting chronic illness, causing disease and early death, arthritis, pain, when, I, when that happened, when I realized that's what that really meant, it wasn't empty calories, it meant a shorter, sicker life for me. All of a sudden, one day I thought, man, I, I haven't had one of those in a long time. It was natural. It was natural. People, what I'm teaching you is natural. 